somewhere beyond the sea. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today I want to talk about the news of Hollywood. They're gonna make a new version of the Little Mermaid. Yes, and I want to give you my take on it. So let's draw. Today we are going to talk about the film The Little Mermaid in its new live-action version. Disney is going to make a new production of this classic, featuring the singer and actress Halle Bailey. And that was a big subject at the time of this announcement, with the change of the color of the mermaid, which in theory could not even be white and with human skin in the first place. The big problem is not just the achievement of the rights to be in this vehicle, but it is necessary to but it is necessary for black people to be in this vehicle frequently. The same frequency as the white skin adapter. And not only black people, but also Hispanic people and Asian people. The presence influences consumers of these media to feel that it is normal to have a non-white authority on the news or being a renowned doctor in a series. This power of the media is so great that in the past Asian were the villain of the story in Hollywood films and this shaped the perception that the world started to have towards these people until today. Black people have always been placed as the underlings. Aside from rare cases like Sidney Poitier, Morgan Freeman, and more recently, a few other stars who joined in the Black Panther movie. In general, the black man or the black woman was, and still is, put on the screen in a pejorative way. As a comic relief, the first to die in the action movie. So we needed to be normal to see a black skinned person in a movie screen, in a comic book, in situations where she or he is a protagonist where she or he is not the victim or the villain, where she or he has the power of the action and for it to become normal for the next generation to feel proud to be like the person, the people represent on the screen. For our generation is a little bit more complicated because we already have many things wrong in our thoughts which came from so many years of oppression and also from our ancestors. With that small gesture, 
I want to bet on the audience of the future who will see these children's films with whites, blacks, Asian, Indians and it will be natural the fact that they are there as a protagonist continue to set us free. And that's all folks, please leave a message here below, tell me, what do you think about this? See you in the next one, peace.